I'm saying? I was a blue collar player. It's a lot of blue collar players. And, uh, and you have you have you have your few that make it. You have your few. You have your few. And you also you have your few who say it's just for me and give up. But you know, when I was playing this game, I never had the. Like, I said this in my interview when I signed my new contract that I never need the outside confidence. I didn't need anybody to come tell me, you know, you're good enough to play in this league. I knew I was good enough to play. It was just me finding a place to call home. I was in Buffalo, you know, you have CJ Spiller, Fred Jackson, Marshawn Lynch. Like, I'm not going to play, regardless of how good I play. Right. I mean, preseason matters, but it doesn't count, you know. So, I mean, I let the team in the rushing. But you just dropped the running back first round. You have another all-pro first round in Marshawn Lynch. You have Fred Jackson, who's a season veteran. You're not going to play. You know, even though I was good enough, and they were, they were paying me well. And that's one reason, another reason I knew I was pretty good. They were, they were paying me more than minimal. I mean, they really wanted me there, you know. And I went to the Eagles, they had Shady Baby, and they had Mike Bell, and I was learning the playbook, and the season started, so they already had a jump, so I really couldn't play there because I didn't know the playbook yet. had. But I was learning it, so they tried to cut me and put me on practice card, and put me on practice card so I could learn it. I didn't clear waivers, I got picked up by the Colts. I had to learn their playbook now, so same thing happened. They wanted me to learn the playbook, so they wanted to cut me and try to put me on practice squad. I left from there, went back to Philly same day. And so now, they, they paying me more than double to be on practice squad at the place. So I'm like, I know I gotta be pretty good if you paying me double just to be on practice squad. Like, who, who does that? And so, you know, then Mike Vick um, watches me in practice and he pulls me to the side and says, you know what? He said, you gonna be all right. Like, when I heard this from Mike Vick, I said, I gotta be, I gotta be. I know I gotta be good. Mike Vick has been in this league for eight plus years. He's telling me that you know, I got it. You kind of know you're gonna make the team by how the preseason goes. You kind of know when you're one of those guys. And so even though I felt like I had a spot, I always trained and practiced like I didn't have it. You never wanna lose that edge. You never wanna feel like it's gonna be given to you because there ain't any chance it could be taken like that. Yeah. And so I uh, know no time do I feel like this is this is old to 